Well, it's uh, day 10 and it's about a quarter to two in the afternoon. Me and Larry finally got ourselves all situated. Uh, got the things we need for the next few days. And now we are starting to head on down. We're on the Creeper Trail, heading north out of Damascus right now. And uh, I think we're looking to push to the first shelter out, which is about eight or nine miles or so. Uh, and just uh, enjoy it. It's a little warm. It's, it's, well, it's a lot warm in the sun, but it feels pretty good in the shade. And uh, I think right now, uh, currently we're looking at our, our next stop is going to be in Marion, and we're trying to decide if we're going to do a uh, like a like a you know three night four day thing, and then peel off to get a shuttle, or if we're going to try and push all the way to Partnership. Howdy, how you doing? Um, but it looks like right now our plan is to try and just go on ahead and get the partnership and be in Marion for the weekend. But we will see how that pans out. We're just gonna, you know, we're just about to get our first climb into the woods. So we'll see how the pace looks. We'll see how energy looks and see how morale looks <laughs> and make decisions while we're out there. So, we are about to cross the road here. There's Larry and there's the staircase over here. And off we will go. Action shot. Up the staircase. <laughs> And he was never seen from again. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's about six o'clock and uh, we've been taking our time today just enjoying it and uh, spending a lot of time just catching up. It's been amazing. <laughs> uh, I think it's the most I've talked to anybody in a couple of weeks, it seems like almost. And uh, and it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful having them, getting to, having them here and getting to catch up. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not sure how much more we're going to do today. So I, uh, we had stopped for some water and the flies are driving me absolutely bonkers. And so I came, <laughs> I was like, Hey man, I'm just going to meet you down at the road crossing. Um, so I'm down here by, uh, where the highway crossing is, and this is going to drop us onto the, uh, creeper trail. We're going to be hiking that for a little while. I think we get another like three ish or four miles. Um, so, you know, see, we'll see what we get, man. We're moseying today. It's, this is not, <laughs> this ain't no like Grand Prix Appalachian Trail hiking happening. Um, and what else, man? Damascus. So I didn't really, I don't know if I caught, caught everybody up on what happened today in Damascus. I mean, essentially last night we, we did the camp out at Roan Mountain and this, early this morning we busted out to, to Damascus. Well, you know, 
early ish. I think we left out of, out of the camp around nine nine thirty. It was ten or eleven when we got to Damascus, and um, and it took a couple hours to just like we got some food at the diner and went to the outfitter and replaced some stuff. So I got like um, I got a new water bag for my filter because it was leaking, and I got a new air pad. I got a Nemo tensor um, as a replacement for the one that I had um, that was leaking again. I I just decided I'd rather just grab another one. <laughs> I didn't feel like doing the work. That's sad to say. Um, and I needed like a new pair of underwear, a um, couple of extra snacks and, and, you know, a few things, little sundries. So I got all that taken care of. Um, I am down to a singular trekking pole. Uh, the other pole, the tip came off in the mud, and I was looking at the tips they had in the outfitter, and nothing really looked like it was the right size that was going to stay on, and there was nothing really in the hiker box. And so a lot of times I kind of just feel like hiking with one pole anyways. So you know what I did? I said, to hell with it. So I left that, and my pa my other pad, I didn't throw it away, um, the other pad with the hole in it, I tossed into Larry's van and he's just going to ship to my house, uh, whenever he gets home. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much what we did in Damascus and then, and then hiked on out. So it's been a good day. It's been a good first day so far. You know, it was a late start, so it was kind of hot and I, you know, and I think that's affected, uh, uh, our movement speed as well, you know? But uh, tomorrow morning, it'll be nice and cool, and we'll be able to, uh, that's a highway, motorcycles, um, be able to get after it, you know, I'll say for real, but, you know, better. <laughs> first day, the first day is always the hardest, man. And I got to say that he's been like, he's been punching it, man. He's been... He's been really getting after it for a first day hike. I'm proud. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I am very proud of him. So uh, right now I'm just going to kind of kick back right here by the road. And uh, I'm just going to wait for him to show up and then we're going to keep on trucking. See ya. So I'm headed down right now to get some water. Uh, we are camped along the Creeper Trail at a campsite. Uh, it's a slight blue blaze off the AT. And uh, down here at the end, you can see one of the mini bridges. Uh, right now, I'm just coming down here to get some water. And this, oh, ah, this is our lovely water source. Look at that. Oh yeah, let's get over there. We're walking on rocks, baby. There we go. Uh, uh. Look at that. So yeah, I'm going to get some water here. Got my platypus bag to fill up. Um, I still have like a liter and a half in my pack. And uh, so I'll have some for making dinner and then getting myself um, situated for the morning. For, you know, I'll have a couple liters for filtering. And, uh, and I'll show you camp here in a minute whenever I get back up there. Well, here's our camp, y'all. And we got our hammocks set up here. See, I'm in the back right there in the blue. Larry's over here riding in the red. Uh, mine is the Eno Jungle Nest, and his is the Kamek Mantis. 
and then right back here is the rest of the camp. And we are, well, Larry's here getting water. <laughs> and we are getting our cook on. So I got me a little bit of Northside cooking in here, some mac and cheddar. I got some hot buffalo and some potatoes to go with it. All right, how's it going? And he's got his jet boil set up. Hold on. You can see the last of them behind me. <laughs> I turned it off for a second because we had a train of about a dozen uh, girls come backpacking through. We're probably going to set up around the way. Um, but anyways, we're here doing our din din and getting settled in for the night. Should be pretty good. Um, it's been, a, I think it's been a pretty good day. Uh, it was nice. It was a little hot. How'd you feel about today, Larry? It was great. It was great. Didn't hurt at all, except for the parts that really did. Uh, yeah. Except for when it did. Except for when it did, but it was good. But it didn't hurt at all. Didn't hurt at all, except for those parts. That was yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's great. Sweet. Yeah. It's good. I'm glad we're out here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's been great. So anyways, uh, that's a wrap on day 10. Uh, we're going to do this and then kick back and enjoy some evening time and get ready to enjoy some creeper trail tomorrow. See y'all later.